today's tutorial, we will be crocheting a washcloth or dishcloth with the falling leaves pattern. We'll be using peaches and cream sunshine for the border and ecru for the body. You'll need a size I or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. You will also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry for needle. Let's tutorial, get started. We are going to chain 26. You need a multiple of three plus two for this pattern. And it makes a really pretty textured washcloth or whatever you want to use it for. Just make sure it's a multiple of three plus two. So we're going to begin by chaining 26. And 26. And for the first stitch, you're going to skip this stitch and you're going to single crochet into this stitch. So single crochet. into that very same stitch we're going to work two double crochets so into the very same stitch right here which is kind of stretched out now so you can see where to go that's so you're going to yarn over go directly into that stitch bring your thread through and pull up a loop you have three loops pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through the last two. And go ahead and yarn over and make another double crochet. Pull through two, and pull through the last two. All right, so keep your chain nice and straight. You're going to skip two stitches and into this stitch, you're going to do the exact same thing. You will work a single crochet and into that same stitch, you will work two double crochets. That's one. That is your second double. And now into your yarn, you will skip two stitches and work a single into this stitch. and work your double into the very same stitch. And another double. All right, continue to skip two and work your single double double into every third stitch and I'll meet you on the last stitch. Do not do it into the very last stitch and I'll meet you there. So this brings us to the last skip two and then here is your final stitch. So go ahead and go into that and do a single only. So you will not do a double this time or two doubles this time you will only do just your single crochet and now go ahead and chain one and if you want to count these you should have eight of these little leaf pattern little leaves on your row 
you should have eight of these. So we chain one and we turn. You're not going to work into this, you're going to work right here into this stitch. You're going to work your pattern. You're going to do a single and you will also do two doubles. Bring through two and bring through the last two stitches. And now you will skip these two, these two doubles and work into this single, which you can kind of, you can look and see the little where it, where it declines here. That's where you're gonna work, but you can count. You skip two stitches and work into this next stitch. So go under those top two layers and work your single. Okay, yarn over and work two, work a double. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So work a double, crochet, and yarn over and do your second double crochet in that same stitch. Okay. So see how pretty those are? You'll have them angle, one will angle this way, and then the other will angle the other way. And it will look really pretty. So skip these two and work into this one. Just work a single. And work a double. And continue doing that. So skip two. Do a single and two doubles. Okay, continue working that until you reach the last one. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Once you reach the end of the row, you'll have these two stitches and then you will have this lovely little stitch right here. And you're going to work one single into that. So into this stitch right here. You're going to work a single crochet into that. And then you will chain one and turn. And this row will be the exact same as your last row. Do you see how those each one slants? So you'll be able to count your rows pretty easily. So do that until you have reached the 16th row. So go ahead and do that until you get to row 16. Just repeat that and I will meet you when you get to the end of row 16. You should be on row 16 at the end of row 16 and you chained one and then you turn. 
And if you want to continue with this yarn, that's fine. We're going to be working our border. And I want a different color border. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my different color. I'm just going to line this tail up with this working yarn that was our previous working yarn. And I'm just going to put those two together and make sure that that loop on your hook is tight enough. I'm going to just put this in my hand as though it's my working yarn. And I'm going to go into the first stitch right here. I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do a double crochet. double crochet and instead of moving on across the row I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work another leaf stitch into this right here and yes it's going to be crowded but it will work so go ahead and go back into that stitch and do a single crochet and do a double into that same stitch. And one more double. that will be your corner. I'm going to go ahead and take our previous color and cut it. Just leave enough of a tail to where you can um, hide it in your yarn and your washcloth be nice and put together so that your washcloth doesn't come apart. So go ahead and leave enough of a tail to hide in your yarn to weave into your cloth. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this one up and get it out of the way. And we'll be working with our yellow now. Or whatever coordinating color you want to use. And like I say, this washcloth is beautiful without doing this. I just wanted to do it. Okay, so you're going to skip two and find that single crochet from before. And you're going to go into that. Oh, zoom in. Okay, so you're going to go into that and work your leaf pattern as usual. continue to do that in each of these singles. Just skip two and work your leaf in each one of these. I'll meet you at the corner. I also wanted to show you that if you want to have less to weave in at the end, just allow this to kind of sit along the top as you crochet and you won't have to weave it in. You just kind of let it nestle there while you do your crocheting and it'll be fixed in there. Alright, so continue on that row and I'll meet you at the end of it. Alright, so now you're back where you would normally just work your you would normally just work your single crochet, chain, and turn. But since we're doing our border, we're going to do our single. We're going to go ahead and work 
two leaves into this. So a single and a double. And a double. That's our double. And another double. And since we're going to work another one, we're going to chain one. And we're going to do a single and two doubles. going to continue working down the side of it. Okay, so if you look at this, you can see kind of a big opening here where your row is. Instead of going into that, this big this big one here. We're going to go into just that small one. So find that big one and the small one right next to it. We're going to work our leaf pattern. So you'll do a single and then two doubles. <laughs> Not a half double. My hook decided it wanted to create a new pattern. So a double, and another double. Okay. And again, if you look, you see that bigger opening. Go into the one next to it that's a little smaller. I'll just work down this whole row with you so that you can see what to do. Okay. So there's a big opening. Go into the smaller one next to it. There's your big one and your little one. There's a big one, there's the small one. One, 
small one. Okay. And now when you get to the end, you can see this opening right here. And that's where you're going to make your next corner. So you're going to do two leaves into this. So let's go ahead and do one. Okay, now you chain one, you need that chain, and now you're going to work another one into there. So here's a double, and another double. You're gonna work along the bottom of your cloth and I'm gonna go ahead and weave this in as I'm crocheting. There's just less to do at the end. So if you look at your cloth, you see where this little leaf is right here. You'll have them all down. That is where you're gonna work your stitch. So you're gonna go into right here and you can just place this along the top and crochet over it. So you're going to single crochet and double. And you'll see the next one. See where this stitch is not here? That would be too close. So you're going to go right here. Mainly what you're doing is just evenly spacing these out. So I'll just do it along with you. If you feel confident, you can advance the video. And I'm just keeping this along the top, which you do not have to do if you don't want to. Just keep it from getting into your hook. The reason I'm talking quietly is because it is very late. I don't want to wake anyone up. All right, so you're going to go into this one. Your next space. I 
love this pattern because it's just so simple to find where to go into and so many times on borders it's not easy I just love this pattern it's probably my favorite one for washcloths it works up so quickly Whatever is hanging out right here will snip off later. There's another one. And so your last one is in your corner, right here. So we're going to work two leaves into that, a leaf and a chain and another leaf. So single crochet, double, and chain and single Okay, so once you get this corner done, we're going to work into the bottom of our cloth. And the same thing as on the other side. So you're going to work into the small spot. Not the big spot, but the smaller area. So right here, work into that. Okay, so there's that one, and then you've got this big spot, so find the smaller one here. See, your big spot, and there's your smaller one, so work into that one. into the big one it would be fine as long as you did that over here you just want this side to mirror this side that's what's really important it's going to make your cloth pretty or sloppy if you don't do that so there so not this spot but the smaller spot And 
Here's the day. Spot. Here's the small spot. Hmm. That is a very official term out there. Big spot, small spot. <laughs> That stitch was and so go into this spot. Splitting threads. Okay. So if you have this, just move it out of the way. We'll hide that. We'll weave that in in a moment. But if you did do that, that will help you know where to put your stitch. That where you are going to slip stitch is right here. That's where you're going to do your slip stitch, and it's going to be kind of hard to get it in there. Okay. So to do a slip stitch, you just put your hook into that first stitch that you had right there underneath your single. Just put it in there, you pull the thread through, and continue to pull it through. And that is your slip stitch. I want to make this loop a little tighter than I have it. So I'm going to kind of tighten that a little bit so it doesn't look bad. Okay, so just pull that through and pull through. And that will lock that in. You're going to cut your yarn, leave a tail. And once you've cut that, just pull it up and tighten it. Weave in your tails. And I just kind of pull that second one until it's hidden right there. And then keep hiding it in the same color stitch that it is. And then you can go the other way and you can kind of pull you up some and then because you're gonna fix it in just a moment it'll come back and stretch out but this will get you 
some working area there. Alright, so I went two different ways. Going three different ways is really good, but I went two different ways with it, so that should be good. So we're going to go ahead and cut that one off next to the stitch. Just don't cut your stitch. And then there was that other one. Let's see. There it is. This yellow one. We want to go ahead and cut that a little closer in. And And then we'll hide this yellow one. sure this looks good right here. You can kind of just go the natural way that wants to go to help it look good at the end. So we'll just weave it through. Weave it through the yellow. just going to continue to go the same way with this one. I don't want to make my border look thick and awkward. So it's long enough to where it should, it should fix it, stabilize it pretty well. Great Pyrenees are the quietest dogs during the day, but at night, you just, you get used to them, but they talk at night a lot. So this is your washcloth, and I also made one in coordinating colors, because it's just fun to do that, right? I love, this is the sunshine. And then the ecru, and I just think I tried white, and the white just didn't to me. It didn't look good with the yellow; it was too bright. And I really liked the ecru with it. So that is the falling leaves crochet pattern. So I hope you guys have fun with it. And but if you do one with just salt to the same color it's so pretty that way too so do not worry if you don't want to do this yet if you're just starting out just make one they're really fun and they work out real easy and pretty and thank you for watching my video um if you want to see more crochet videos like and subscribe